All right, guys, welcome to another episode today. Me and Virgil took a vacation day. We are doing a 10 mile float. Water is really clear and green. I look at the visibility of that. Look, you can see the boat ramp way down there. Yeah, we got some really clear low water today, guys. We're going to be fishing for smallmouth, walleye, crappie, spotted bass, and white bass. We should be the only people out here. It's a Monday and it's officially deer season. So most people are preoccupied with that. So we should have the whole river to ourselves. We're hoping. This paddle sucks compared to the one I'm used to. Oh yeah, there we go. Not bad. Oh, hell yeah, that's not bad. Nice river bass, man. That's a largemouth too, not a spotted. Hey, screw you, Baker. We'll come find our own shit then. <laughs> damn. That's actually pretty damn decent. Maybe this is the answer, spinnerbait. Guys, he's about a... He would be a two pounder, but he's about a pound and a half because he's so slim. Doesn't he seem slender? Yeah, it's a nice bass though, nonetheless. Decent one. Well guys, we're hoping that full moon bite is on. Nice early morning bass to start the day. He's about 16 inches and about a pound and a half. He's real anorexic looking. I see why he was after my spinner bait now. He needs a meal. All right, hey. Don't try to splash me, buddy. I'll catch you again, not put you back. He was right in them sticks over there. Three foot of damn water. Man, that's not a bad fish. Two nice largemouth from this one hole. I was getting ready to move because of time. We've got to have time for all of them. My goodness, guys. Nice little largemouth again, both on that chartreuse and white spinnerbait. Two nice, two nice ones at that. He's not bad. He's a full pound, I guess. My goodness. I'll take those. Man. We'll probably see a turkey, deer, bald eagle. Usually every time. Yeah, it's nice and clear. It really ain't as cold as I thought it would be, the water. I mean, it's chilly, but it's not freezing yet. Crappie. I'm using a Bobby Garland after all. All right, we got two large mouth and one spotted, and he is a baby. He's like seven inches, but it is a fish. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Really dangerous, but chance at a big one though. Damn, it took forever to freaking hit bottom, man. Already hung. No, got one. It worked. Look at this. Guess what this is? Walleye. I think it's a walleye, buddy. See, you got to get dangerous to get them though. Nope, it's a freaking drum. Are you kidding me, man? Man, what a disappointment. Look at that. I thought I had a nice walleye. God. Well, guys. Oh, well, it is a fish, but still. I thought for sure I had me a walleye. I thought I was hung, actually, at first, and then it started pulling. He's about a pound. Yeah, it's, it's 
Yes! Got him! I got him! I got him! Oh yeah! Oh yes! I know what it is without looking. Yes it is. It's a nice one. Oh! Oh! Oh yeah! Come here buddy! Oh! Oh! You have been coying with me for 15 minutes. You deserved to get caught. Yes, man, it's a nice female walleye too. Oh man, big enough to keep. <sighs> Guys, this walleye has been nipping at my swim bait for about 30 casts where he'll latch on and let go. But you know what? I didn't give up. I just kept throwing it and throwing it and throwing it. Throwing it at different depths, changing it from six to seven feet. He finally got on there, about 16 inches. Nice little walleye. Now that's making for a little better day now. You've never seen me catch, you've never been with me when I caught one, have you? I like their fin. It's like a swordfish. Yeah, hell yeah. Man. Careful. Alright, you're okay. Alright guys, I'm gonna get her back. If it was about three or four more inches, I may have kept it. Not bad, man. I love walleye, it's my favorite. I just want one like William though. How come I can't get a seven or eight pounder? He was 15 to 16 inches, his was 29 freaking double and once they get over 18 they start getting bigger and bigger around big old bellies on them god oh oh i might get one good cast oh come on biggin got him oh nope what is the deal with the fish letting go man there he is came back small mouth a little bitty one but it is a small mouth all right about nine inch is a different kind though on the six cents curve 55 I believe it's 4k shad There's definitely a lot of fish on that bluff up there. All right, guys, Virgil's on something. He's got his first walleye. You lucky devil. There you go, buddy. We got Virgil on his first walleye. We accomplished something today. You want to make another run at it? Paddle up to it? Maybe anchor then, huh? I didn't plan on stopping here, but if you caught a walleye, it's worth it's worth doing. See, I told you this is where I caught a walleye at. <laughs> uh, let me... Let me get the anchor down and I'll zoom in on you. Now remember, they got real big teeth. So we accomplished something today then. You never caught a walleye, so. Hell yeah. That's pretty sweet, man. Not a giant about like mine, but it's not bad. I'm about to throw the anchor down here in a second. Cool one. All right, guys. Virgil got his first walleye. He's actually a little bigger than mine was. He's a he's 15. Oh shit. yeah, they're hard to. Let me throw this down. I didn't even plan on stopping at this one. 
But how can we not now, you know? It's kind of hard not to want to anyway. I know what it's going to do now. It's going to swing you around and you're going to be on the shitty. Well, hopefully you can still throw. It's going to spin you around. It's a strong little dude. dude. Yeah. Was that on the grub? Yep. Awesome. I'm going to keep trying the crankbait for a minute, but then I'm going to switch to the swim bait. If I see that it's snag free or whatever. I can see, I can tell where walleye set it. I just know exactly what type of water they like. I knew this was going to happen. It's going to spin you around. So I should have anchored up a little further. Then I got to really watch that anchor rope too when I bring my lure in. That's what he spotted bass on a six cents blue chartreuse curve. Boy, and he's hooked good, man. Very first cast on the crankbait, caught a fish on it. I lost my other one, 4K shad, unfortunately. But I tied this on, I got two of them that were spares for when that ever happened. And boom. Yep. All right, hey, I ain't gonna complain about him. Not a bad fish. Not giant, but it was a decent one. Probably something right behind that too, right there. Down in there, maybe. I like the color as you can see it way down. That, that baby blue. All right guys, got a nice large mouth on the six cents floating this real long deep hole full of uh, riprap. He's a good two pounder anyway. Oh man, that's the biggest one of the day. Look at that. That ain't bad, is it? Holy cow. Not even what I thought it was at first. Oh man, I gotta get the damn pliers. Damn, sucks as I was kind of wanting to stay there a second anyway, but that ain't gonna happen. Oh, I hooked him good. Five hooks out of six are in him. <laughs> That's a nice largemouth, man, for a river. Guys, he's at least, he's pushing two. He's pushing two full pounds. Look at this largemouth, guys. Nice black bass right there. Yes. Man, what a hoss. Mm. Oh. Oh, I got a fish, man. What? Yeah. Oh. Dude. That's freaking epic. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I was snagged in this bass. Grabbed my lure <coughs> I knew there'd be something by that root wad <coughs> I'll be able to get it I think he's not a bad one really <coughs> I can't quite get over there it ain't letting me Got it. <coughs> yeah, he's pretty damn decent. Look at that, man. Nice spotted bass. <coughs> anyway. <coughs> All right, guys. Once again, on that six cents, it's a big old spot. Nice one. That's a decent spotted bass, man. He's fat. It ain't that big, but it's big around. Wow. <coughs> that is a nice spotted. Alright. Hey, we ended up having a pretty good day so far.
there you go. You got a spot, I think, spotted bass. Yep, spotted. He's not, no, that's a large mouth. Yep, large mouth, man. He's not bad. We got redemption on Mr. Baker, didn't we? Yeah, buddy. Maybe not. Yeah. Horrible. Uh-uh. I'll take it. I'm th oh, look, <laughs> bluegill again. Oh, that's the fish I bet you that let go of mine. Dude, there's like four of them right there. God. Right where William caught his smallmouth along that, right in that below. Dude. There you go. Nope, another large. Yeah, that's a nice one. He's not bad. Yeah, large mouth. Sure is. My goodness, man. At least you got something. I'm probably just not getting it down far enough. Even though it says five to nine feet, it's hard to get it down that that deep when the current's like that. Oh, I better set down just in case. here for a while so at least we got to do something cool different I had that thing about eight or nine foot down there for a minute Hold on. <coughs> the bird will just caught two large mouth in a minute's time same hole man get down here change my battery piss <coughs> get out yeah nothing real serious that was worth crying over but there we go big crappie yeah not really they're over here in that shade Black crappie, about seven. A bunch of them right in front of us. 